Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this New Year's Eve party makeup look. It's this really bold, glittery, black, smoky eye. If you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> So to get started, I'm going to be priming my eyes using some concealer just to make the eyeshadow stick and appear more vibrant. Then taking the new Zoeva Nude Spectrum palette, I'm going to be taking this beige brown shade and I'm going to be applying this with a duo fiber blending brush into the crease. And because we're going to be using lots of really dark colors today, we really want to make sure that it has something really good to blend into. So I'm going to be building this color up to really create a nice crease color so that all the other colors just blend really effortlessly into this one. Then taking this darker warm brown, I'm going to be applying this into the crease to start to build up some of that depth. And I'm just taking this on a separate blending brush and building up that color. And don't forget, you can go back into your previous brushes to help the blending process. So I'm just taking the other brush before and just kind of blending out the edges so that it looks a lot more seamless. So once the edges of that color are nice and softened, you can go back into that color again and just build up that color so that it looks nice and pigmented in the crease. Next, taking a gel liner, I'm just going to be taking this on my finger and applying it all over the lid. Just because we are applying a matte black, this will just make everything look a lot smoother. We are applying a glitter on top of it, so you don't have to do this, but it just makes the black appear a lot more pigmented and a lot smoother. Then taking this matte black from that same palette, I'm just going to be taking this and applying it with a flat shader brush and just patting it on top of that gel liner we previously applied. I'm applying it all over my lid and taking it right up to the crease. You don't really want to take it any further because we do want some space to blend this upwards. So stop where your crease naturally curves and then you can soften out the edges of that black using that previous brush we used to apply the brown. Then taking a liquid liner, I'm going to start to do a nice winged liner. You can totally skip this if you don't want to go for a feline effect on the eye, but I really wanted to really give us them cat eyes, so I decided to go for some winged liner, but it's totally optional. You can just style this out as much as you want. And then I am taking some glitter. This is a glitter liner from NYX and I'm just applying it over all of my lid apart from the actual liner. And I'm just softening the edges of that glitter using some more of that black eyeshadow. And then I am just cleaning up the sides of my eyes to make everything look nice and sharp. If you have made any mistakes, this will really help with that. And because I wanted to jazz up the glitter a little bit more, I decided to go for a color glitter that matched my top. So you can totally play with the color as much as you need to. If you're wearing purple, green, blue, apply that color glitter on top of the black and it just plays things up and makes everything look really pretty. This one is kind of like a multicolored one from Kiko. Then I am taking some House of Lashes Noir Fairy Lashes and just applying them to my lash line and then applying some mascara to make them blend in a little bit better. And then I'm just going to be tight lining my upper waterline and also my bottom as well. We're going to be moving on to the skin now. So I'm just priming my skin with my MAC Natural Radiance Primer and just applying this all over my skin. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And I haven't used this in forever, but I absolutely love this foundation. It's a really nice medium to full coverage foundation um, that really feels nice and moisturizing. So it's good for the winter time. And I'm just going to be applying this with my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and just applying one even layer all over the skin because we are going to be doing a lot of contour and highlighting. I do feel like one layer of foundation is just more than enough. To highlight and conceal, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I am also going to be taking a little bit of the, well not really a little bit, I'm taking a decent amount of the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer because this is a really nice highlighting concealer. Both of these concealers are quite light in consistency so they don't feel too heavy on the skin but they really lighten those areas and bring them forward. And I'm just blending that in with a Zoeva Rounded Concealer Brush. 
To set and bake my face, I am taking the MAC CC powder and just baking all the areas I want to just bake for a little bit. And then I am taking some brow pencil and just filling in my brows very quickly. So once I've filled in my brows, I'm just gonna be dusting away that excess powder from our baking session. And then I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm just taking some more of that cold pencil and just running it on the lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna be smudging it out. It doesn't need to be too neat because you do want it to look quite smoky. Um, so I'm just gonna be smudging that lower lash line. did decide afterwards to apply some glitter so I definitely say apply your mascara right at the end but I wasn't really sure what I was doing at this point and then I am just applying a little bit more eyeliner on the inner corner to give us that nice feline flick again this is totally optional and then I went in with that green gold glitter and I just applied it on the bottom lash line to give it an extra hint of sparkle Next, I'm going to be contouring because it's New Year's Eve. When is there any more excuse to contour your face? So I'm just going to be contouring with the NYX contour stick and I'm just doing it around the outside of my face and also my nose too. And I'm just blending that in and just making sure that everything looks as seamless as possible. And I do like to leave my contour quite dark because I do like to kind of use it as my bronzer as well. I do go in with a bronzer, but not too much of it. Just taking this bronzer by the body shop and just setting that contour and also just applying a little bit of extra color two And then as always, I like to kind of bake underneath my contour just because it cleans everything up and makes it look a lot more sharp. I did highlight my cheekbones, but the footage got cut out. So then I also highlighted the tip of my nose. And then to fill in my lips, I am going to be applying some stripped down lip liner from MAC. And then I am going to be taking Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lipstick, just because I feel like a nude really fits. I feel like for this eye look, a nude is really nice. So guys, that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed. This is most likely going to be my last makeup tutorial of 2015. And honestly, this year has just been the best year of my career. So I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching my tutorials and just being so supportive. Be safe on New Year's Eve and have a blessed 2016. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are up to on New Year's Eve. And yeah, Happy New Year year to each and every one of you. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video, probably next year. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.